I say you don't need God to succeed. People are tearing their trousers. Okay, so God makes people succeed, right? Who makes people fail? Since God makes people succeed, then who is making people fail? If you say Satan, that means Satan overpowered God. So God makes people rich, right? Who makes people poor? You don't need God to succeed when it comes to material things. Think about it. There is a war in the body of Christ. There is a war in church. I believe plenty of another year different different words from different ministers the other day one pastor been preach say divorce is not bad and he went ahead to explain that it's better you divorce a woman or a man than for you to stay and be enduring one day you will go beat person here you will go beat your wife kill or woman go come go beat man kill which me and you don't they see this one every time where woman go beat man kill sometimes man go beat woman kill i don't even see when woman pour man acid pour hot water and all those things so this pastor was saying that divorce is not bad now Abel Damina now don't come tell us say we don't need God to succeed in life. The other day, one other pastor was saying that uh, tithe was not supposed to be money. It was supposed to be the things we do with our hand. Maybe like fruits, uh, animals, fish, and all those things that there's no financial tithe in the Bible. The other day, Abel Damina as well told us that seed sowing is not biblical. Face fruits, all those things are not biblical, that they are not in the Bible. Also, Dr. Abel Damina, don't tell us, say, there is no word like rapture in the Bible. There is no word like rapture. What is your take on all these things? Because every time we are talking about politicians, so politicians do this, so politicians do that, so president do this, so this minister do that, so this uh, governor do that. So we are not talking about what these pastors are doing. So many of them, these are the people we are supposed to look up to. I know, so many of you people will not like this video. But since I've listened to different, 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 different pastors with their different opinions about all these things, that's why I have come out to do this video. What is happening? What they are telling us now, it's not what our pastors used to tell us. I know some of the ministers, like I've seen in the social media, are attacking Abel Damina. That he's saying this, he's saying that, he's saying this. Some big, big Jews as well are attacking Abel Damina because he's saying that there's nothing like seed sowing in the Bible. That if you want to, anything that has to do with seed sowing or tithes has to be what you are doing, like fruits like uh, uh, goods like even if it's cow it's not money it has not nothing to do with money and there's nothing like uh, face fruits so plenty pastors now believe say the guy won't come spoil market give them plenty pastors are attacking him because they believe say he won't come close doors from their investment and investors now what if what these people used to tell us before now, na lie. What if what these pastors have been telling us before now, did they lie to us? Why am I saying this? 
let's take example like small Pekin, we born now. When Pekin born, you start by telling him, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Bye-bye. Do small, small things. And the Pekin will learn from this. And if you tell, start by telling this Pekin, are you okay? That's what the child will grow up with. What if what these uh, pastors are telling us is what the face people that handle this Bible wanted us to know? What if this is what they told the face people that started reading this Bible and what they told them was just what they wanted us to hear, not the right thing? I'm just thinking out loud though. Understand? It's not as if I'm summarizing. I'm just saying so that you can enlighten me and others that will watch this video. What do you think of what these people are saying? That tithes were not supposed to be money. That there's nothing like uh, face uh, that face fruits was sup not supposed to be money. That there is nothing like seed sowing. Now, uh, Doctor Ebel Damina, now don't even come talk to you. You don't need God to succeed. If God is the one making you succeed, who is making you poor? Who is making others poor? Now, if you say it's the devil, now is the devil having more power than God to make people poor? All these things are confusing us. All these things are confusing us. What is really the truth? Hmm? What is really the truth? Because like Muslims now marry more than one wife. But as a Christian, if you try them, you are a sinner. But we are still in the same country. This other pastor will come and tell you this. This other pastor will come and tell you this. Some will come and tell you that they have powers. They come out openly to tell you that they have seven powers. They have ten powers. They come out open. You'll be like, see, the, the hype tells you. Is it about the end time that God told us about? Are we at the end time? Because social media don't show us so many things that will not be the see, that will not be the yield. What is the truth? What do you think is the truth of all these things? What do you think is the truth? What thing you don't hear your own? What is your take on all these things I'm saying? Which of it do you want to react on? Go to the comment section and share your own take on what these ministers, these men of God, are telling us. Because every time we are talking about politicians, politician, but these are the people that are supposed to lead us to Christ. These are the people that are supposed to lead us to salvation. When they are saying many things like this, this one is saying this, this one is saying, which one are we supposed to follow? Which one are we supposed to follow? When this one is saying this, this one is saying that. Hmm? One other one now was saying that prayer and fasting cannot make you rich. But some people will go and be living in the church from Monday to Sunday without doing anything for themselves. One minister said so. That if you like fast from Monday to Sunday or to next Monday, that cannot make you rich. But some pastors are saying, you, if you want to be rich, you have to fast, you have to pray, you have to do this, you have to do that. Which one are we supposed to follow? Who is telling us the truth among all these people? I believe you don't see and you don't hear plenty of it as well. Who is telling us the truth? Who is lying to us? But at the end, I will say, may God help us. May God help us and direct us to the right place that we will hear the, the right word of God. That will be a soul lifting. That will take us to the salvation. Amen. Gracias.